guys, uh, Mike again. Uh, today we're going to be talking about cave bass, uh, Dinoperca petersi. So yeah, let's let's get into it. Okay, cave bass. It's a browny coloured fish. Um, sometimes a little bit darker, but they vary between a dark chocolate brown and a, and a black with little little dots on them. And the main feature is it's got a very very big eye. Now that eye is suited to its kind of uh, biological uh, workings. It's, they like hunting at night. They're very sensitive to light, so they stay in a darkness kind of area. So you're looking at caves, deep holes, and that kind of thing. That's where the name originally comes from, cave bass. They look kind of like a bass, got a very big mouth, and they stay in caves, obviously, only coming out at night. The other common name is lanternfish. Now, that comes from mainly the ski boat guys used to catch the, the bigger versions. And when you hold it up by its lip, it flares its gills out like a lot of the rock, rockfish. And it exposes its very, very red gills under the plates itself. And it actually looks like one of those Chinese lanterns. Yeah, it's, it's quite a common fish along our coast. Uh, the guys obviously only catching them at night. It's very rare to get them during the day. But if you do, it's normally on an overcast day. Nothing really bright and sunny. In terms of targeting, you're looking at similar areas to your, where you'd be catching the bronze bream during the day but as they're not vegetarians they feed on crustaceans and small fish you're going to be looking for areas where there's either a ledge going out or some place with a deep gully or a bit of a cave if you know there's in the area and then you're going to be fishing there at night so the bass come out at night to forage and look for other any sort of uh, little prey species and that's when it's most likely to target them. With their big eye, they're very sensitive to any light. So if you've seen ray fishing, he often uses a glow bead, and that's probably the most important thing out of any targeting for cave bass, is having that little bit of, of glow in the night. You shine it up with your torch, and you, you cast it out, and you'll know if there's a cave bass there within about five minutes. So target areas, rocky reefs, ledges, caves. They are a fairly fast-growing fish. Um, as opposed to the bronze beam, which we did last time. But they spawn off KZN in winter, so that's when we get our major congregation of them, so winter is sort of the best time to target them. Uh, in terms of growth and maximum size, uh, the cave bass grows fairly quickly, um, in ter or as opposed to a lot of the reef species. They can attain over 75 centimeters and about 6 kgs, which is a monster of a cave bass. But normally the guys we get are about a kilo, kilo and a half. Um, areas, they occur, they're most common from Tugela North, but we do get them all the way down to about East London, but they're very, very rare down that side. Um, you're going to be using medium tackle for them, just because of the chance of picking up something bigger like a cob or even one of the flatfish. They aren't the strongest fighters, so the smaller guys you can get out in the lighter stuff, but the medium tackle is just there because the chances of picking up something on these reefs or something like a speckled snapper or a big rock cod or something like that is, is quite high and the baits you're using normally chocker maybe a blob bait type thing um, often gets eaten by these other species and if you have the light to tackle you're just going to end up losing more fish than you get out so i'd highly recommend using a medium setup which we'll go through just now remember guys uh, coastal fishes of southern africa all the information you're ever going to need on any fish species is covered in here it's available at kingfisher and all other leading tackle stores Okay, uh, tackle selection. This is my personal opinion, you don't have to use it, but this is what I would use. The Adawa Saltus 3 to 5 ounce spinning rod. Um, it's got enough backbone for the bigger fish, but still light enough to enjoy the fight. On that, I'd put a 5000 grinder. My personal opinion is the Dawa BG 5000. Plenty of drag, nice comfortable handle, sits nicely in your hand. To that, I'd put 30 pound J braid. Now the J-Braid is a bit thicker than some of the other braids, but the nice thing about it is very good in abrasion resistance. So with fishing in the rocks, this is going to keep you from getting cut off. And on the trace itself, 4 tuna circle, you cannot go wrong. It's strong, it's not going to open on a bigger fish if you pick it up, and it sets beautifully in the corner every time. Mm -hmm. 